Four months ago, Golam Abbas got in his oil tanker and started what's maybe one of the most dangerous drives in the world. And this is how he ended up. Severe burns on both his legs and both his arms. Well, does, 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 I couldn't think, just wanted to run away, he says. There was gunfire, a huge blast. The attack was among hundreds carried out by militants in recent years, all targeting fuel and supply trucks destined for U.S. and NATO troops in Afghanistan. Afghanistan is surrounded by land, no seaports, so the supplies first arrive here at the southern port city of Karachi, Pakistan. Every day, hundreds of trucks load up their cargo and start the grueling 24-hour drive that may take days to complete. For this, they get a little more than $200. They use two routes. One goes from Karachi through northwest Pakistan and onto the Khyber Pass. The other goes through Baluchistan province, southwest Pakistan, and through Chaman district. At one point, 80% of U.S. and NATO supplies went through Pakistan. The supplies critical for the military operation there. Then came the attacks. The defenseless trucks torched, bombed, looted. Easy prey for militants who now had a potent way to bleed the NATO mission in Afghanistan. This YouTube video shows Pakistani Taliban fighters joyriding in an American Humvee. They said they lifted in one of the attacks. Raise your hand if you've been attacked, if your truck or you have been attacked. At this truck depot, dozens say they're victims, some showing off their scars. 15 to 20 militants blocked the road, started firing, and then torched our truck, said this driver. We can only get in the truck and drive. If we get there, great. Otherwise, anyone can kill us. What's left of the trucks end up in graveyards like this. Police say over the past three years, scores of attacks have destroyed hundreds of trucks, killing at least 50 people. With mounting attacks and losses, U.S. officials say they've cut deliveries through Pakistan by about one half, opting to use alternate routes through Afghanistan's northern neighbors. Yet every day, Olam Hossein and hundreds of Pakistani drivers still make one of the world's most dangerous drives, knowing it could be their last. What else can we do, he says. Poverty has made us desperate. Reza Sayah, CNN, Karachi.